up to a nice full finish. If I start with this right shoulder, I'm dead. You're dead every time from here. So you take the club back to the top and just let it drop. I think of just dropping the back of my hand right on the ball with my hands going away from me. Always swing my hands to me on the back swing and away from me on the forward swing. This was the coffee cup and I wanted to throw it in the pitcher's face. I would take the cup back here and I would throw it out that way. I wouldn't throw it this way. I wouldn't chop into the ground. Turn here, straight on out. I want my power to get my body going toward the target, which is why I set up here my angle, similar to the way I would hold a, hold a rifle if I was going to shoot it to where I'm pushing off this back foot so my knees can bend toward that target. If I stood this way, I can't bend my knees. My knees can go that way, but I want my orientation to be target oriented. If I was a baseball pitcher, I would push off, push off the rubber throw the ball that way. If I took my foot this way, I'm gonna end up, I, I, I don't know which way to go. So that's why we get that fourth square with that foot back here. I want my knees to beat my hands to the ball. This is one of uh, a minor secret people talked about with Hogan. I was talking about his right knee going down toward the ball. And you really do want your knees to beat your hands to the ball and your hands to beat the club head to the ball to get that angular momentum giving you the power you want to finish that swing and hit a nice straight long shot as far as you can.